Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Welcome to the month of November 2022. And as always, welcome to Divine Conversations. Yeah. So we're going to get into this energy reading for you. This is going to be a general energy reading for the sign of <clears throat> Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be speaking to a cross watcher here. The roles could be reversed. I could be channeling, channeling the energies for a Tauren in your life. Um, if the roles do reverse or if they fit in your narrative reversed, then please take it as it resonates. This is a general reading, all right? But also do not um, try to fit anything that doesn't naturally fit for you, yes? Uh, also, this is a fairly timeless reading. This does not absolutely have to resonate during the month of November 2022. Um, just keep that in mind. Time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Um, and as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. And finally, I would like to recommend that you guys check out Patreon. It is a great way to support the channel and also get some extra content with me throughout the month. But also, um, if you are interested in some personal readings, being a member of certain tiers of Patreon will either get you a 10% discount or a 20% discount on all of your readings throughout the month and also there is one specific tier that gives you uh for ten dollars off the normal price of a uh 30 minute session or recorded freestyle reading with me you get one 30 minute session or freestyle reading with me per month and all of the content available on patreon okay but if you are interested in that then check that out as soon as possible because those spaces are limited yeah all right, Taurus, let's get into your energy here for the month of November. So as I've been sitting here uh, connecting with you, channeling with your energy, I get a very a strongly peaceful energy for you. Um, I'm, also, I'm also getting a pretty big energy of nope. <laughs> like there is something going on out in the world that you are just not willing to be a part of. Um, I do feel like this is a bit of a protective energy. I feel like um, you might be in a little bit of a hermit mode energy or you may just be trying to keep to yourself right now going through a healing process, going through a, a um, going through a um, detoxification process, maybe energetically or physically, um, keeping, also um, Mars is retrograde right now. It's going to be retrograde until late March of 2022. I do feel a little bit of that is affecting you because you see how volatile people can be, how people could be popping off right now, how people's egos and or anger and aggression could be really strong right now. And you're just trying to avoid all that. You're not trying to be a part of the drama. Um, also, we are entering into the holiday season. So some of you could very well be like, yeah, I want nothing to do with that. I'm trying to keep to myself. Um, it feels peaceful for you, Taurus. I feel like uh, out of all of the reasons as to why you could want, you could be in this energy of no, or just nope, not doing that. Um, ultimately, the main reason that I get for this or that I feel for this Taurus is that you are just looking for peace. You are desiring to have a level of peace in your life that cannot be achieved if you are achieved, if you are uh, getting involved with certain circumstances or spending time with certain people or just, you know what I mean? Peace seems to be, keeping the peace in your life seems to be the main focus focus for you right now. Um, I'm also, you may uh, be in a bit of a meditative state, you know, trying to meditate right now, connect with yourself, connect with your higher self. You may even be, to be quite honest with you, Taurus, you may be trying to keep your own level of anger and or aggression in check, okay? Because Mars retrograde is going to affect everybody, not just Aries or, or Scorpio, you know? It's going to affect everybody. And you may be seeing how people are popping off left and right here and there. And you know how you could be triggered and how you could pop off and or, and, or you're not trying to be like them. So you know, you're like, you know what? Let me just stay in my little corner and keep to myself and that way we won't even have to worry about this okay taurus <laughs> i'm gonna give the deck two more shuffles here for you and we will see what messages we have for you for the month of november 2022 yeah here we go last shuffle for taurus sun moon and rising whoops last shuffle so, taurus sun moon and rising so what's going on for taurus this month please spirit what's going on for taurus
<laughs> First card out for you, Taurus, is the Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. Safe and secure on your own. Happy, content, I, uh, shit, independent. I don't need nobody. Especially not under these circumstances is what I'm hearing. I'm good on my own. I can spend the next couple of months reflective in a reflective energy keep it to myself in my own space doing my own thing worry about my own things that i need to handle not all up in anybody anybody else's business blah 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 not having anybody up in my business blah 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 okay i'm good with that says taurus i'm fine with that for some of you this is something you're actually saying to somebody like you really want to test me you really think i'm not i can't be good on my own you really think i need you all up in my ass all the time watch Putting that to the test. Someone is really challenging you here for some of you. And you're like, nah, you 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 picked the wrong one. <laughs> you picked the wrong one. Ooh, wee. Look at this, Taurus. The next card you have is the Seven of Swords. Someone may have lied to you. Someone may have deceived you here. Damn. Then with the Five of Swords. Okay. Overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles so far. Um... Okay, I actually, I actually want to draw again and get one last card here. That Five of Swords was important. Oh, and then we have the Page of Wands. Okay, now I get it. Um, that Five of Swords is important, was important. Um, it's part of the reason as to why you are trying to be, uh, other than the fact that you have this Seven of Swords energy in which there's some sort of deceit going on here, um, the Five of Swords energy, which it caught my attention, so I just pulled it and looked at it and put it down, but I ultimately didn't want to keep it out there. I wanted to draw one more card and let it come out naturally. Um, but that Five of Swords is absolutely one of the main reasons why you're keeping to yourself right now. Nine of Pentacles. There is a change in your tune. Page of Wands. Taurus, I feel like you have a message to send, but this message is one of silent treatment. You're not going to catch me acting a fool like that, says Taurus right now. Overall energy for you, Taurus, is strength. Strength. And then at the, underneath strength is the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Um, and you have the first card that came out for you here is the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, Taurus, I feel like you are very close to achieving a certain goal. And what you're doing right now is putting forth the effort to really get yourself to that, to get yourself to that 10, to that completion for some of you, okay? Now, for others of you, you are changing your tune with the people you are associated with, or at least have been associated with. And there is a very real reason for this. It's because of this Seven of Swords energy. There's some sort of deceit. For some of you, the Seven of Swords feels like you just trying to be secretive. Not trying to let every, everybody in on your plans, your goals, your desires. Something is about to change fairly drastically within you or within your environment, your circumstances around you. You are looking to make this change. You are facilitating this change. You are having the strength to make this change. And I'm getting this change from the Page of Wands, okay? The Page of Wands is all about, um, what, I, what I'm hearing for you, Taurus, is rediscovering yourself. The Page of Wands is also starting a new project, um, having a message to send. The Page of Wands can also be a messenger. There's a new alignment for you, Taurus. And, and quite honestly, Taurus, this new alignment could very well be you keeping to yourself at this time, being independent, keeping your finances in check, being very independent and strong. There is a message to send. You have a message to send, Taurus. And for some of you, a big part of this message is you keeping to yourself. Like I said earlier, for some of you, the narrative is you think I, you think I, I won't be okay you think I won't be good on my own? Watch this. 
This is very interesting. I want to see what this message is for you, Taurus. What's this page of wands energy for Taurus, please? The Knight of Pentacles. The King of Wands. Whoa, okay. There is a goal that you wish to... There is a goal that you wish to achieve, Taurus. Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. There you are showing up there. And then you have the Eight of Cups. I, honestly, Taurus, I feel like you are determined. You are bound and determined to do something. I feel like this King of Wands energy and this King of Pentacles energy are both expressions of you. I mean, obviously the King of Pentacles would represent you anyway. This does represent Taurus energy. Uh, the King of Wands here would represent Leo energy. Maybe you have a Leo placement. I don't necessarily feel like Taurus, this is another person. I feel like this is you. There is some sort of feeling here, Taurus of you or at least somebody or some of you sitting here saying you think i can't do something you think i can't complete this you think i can't bring this toxic energy to an end watch me De i mean bound and determined and somebody here part of this new message that they have to send is Part of that is them walking away from the situation altogether. Eight of Cups is the overall energy here. Overall, underneath that is the Eight of Swords to the King of Swords. Whoa. Lots of King energy. Lots of fixed energy. With that, I kind of feel like ain't nobody going to change this person's mind. Whether this is you, Taurus, or this is the other person that you're connecting with. Could very well even be a Leo. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, guys. And then another eight, when the eight of wands, damn, and the tower. Oh shit, Taurus. What is going on here? Someone is bound and determined to either walk away, bound and determined to leave this situation behind, bound and determined to cut themselves free. Holy shit, what happened here, Taurus? But ultimately, something got overburdensome. You have the ten of wands and the six of pentacles. And this King of Pentacles here says, I'm good on my own. I got this. Something about having a having mastered lack mentality, overcome lack mentality of some kind. I just get this feeling that whatever message you are sending, Taurus, or whomever is sending, they are solid in it. They are so solid in it. I wanna see, I wanna see what this deceit is then, the Seven of Swords energy. What's the Seven of Swords here? Someone was trying to get away from something and they nearly succeeded for some of you, but I also feel like they failed in getting away with it. You weren't going to pull this one over on me because you look, 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 look on this card in this in this deck. This is the mystical manga deck. In this depiction, you still have someone, this young woman here or this woman here seemingly trying to escape with these five swords. Yeah, because then there are two more behind her that she's leaving behind, but she's not getting away with it because you see those two eyes up there at the top of the card. They see exactly what's going on. Someone did not get away with something they hoped that they would. And because either you, Taurus, or the person that you're dealing with, because somebody found out about here, that's what's causing them to change their tune. But also, well, okay, Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus, please. The Ten of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. Page of Coins. Damn, Eight of Wands and Eight of Cups. Three of Cups is the overall energy. What the hell? 
Someone is starting over. I'm sorry, not the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, fuck. There was some, ooh, Taurus. Somebody fucked up. Somebody fucked up big time. Or at least enough to make this person want to walk away from the situation. You have the Three of Cups as your overall energy here. And when you got the Three of Cups with the Seven of Swords, man, that can easily be read as a third party situation. Somebody was cheating or somebody was lying or what I'm, the dominant thing that I'm getting here is that there is some sort of group association that, that someone is just wanting to walk away from. It feels toxic. It feels like one of those situations in which somebody is the third wheel. Somebody's trying to come into a group that has already been established. And maybe these individuals were like, yeah, you can be a part of the group, but then, but then like they don't really, or in some ways they have, they have this like other thing going on between them and that other person or this third person, I guess you could say that, um, has been told they're being accepted as part of the group is still made to feel like they're the outsider. Now that there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. Okay. I mean, I would understand, especially if, you know, it's been this way for such a long time, you're going to have to get used to, I guess you're going to have to get used to or overcome certain habits, but something about this was deceptive. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups again. The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups showed themselves before. And what I'm feeling for this Taurus is that this was just, it was easier to just walk away from this. It would have been easier, or it, no, it really, it is easier to just walk away from this situation the page of pentacles and the ten of pentacles are giving me or the i'm sorry the page of coins and the ten of coins in this deck at least are giving me a feeling of wanting to start a new process but i the dominant thing that i'm feeling here is that somebody is starting a new process as they're stepping out of some sort of long-term situation or some sort of situation that's come to completion but also i'm getting a feeling of some sort of chapter ended and someone was trying to start a new one, but something about it was deceptive. I don't know. Uh, this, this energy is, feels like it's going all over the place. So it must be that this is resonating in many different ways for you. So for the people, for the collective here, so take it as it resonates. But there was some sort of group association and Taurus what I'm hearing is that was toxic the, the the group something about this group association was toxic and it would have just been it, it it is just easier for this person or these people to be left behind because also with the seven of swords here I feel like you or they or somebody here was never really going to receive the full truth and the individual that seems to be walking away here is this individual that is very committed, maybe even very mature, okay? Because this person, this uh, whomever it seems is walking away here is showing up as a king, both the king of pentacles and the king of wands. Not only solid and stable and sturdy within themselves, but also bound and determined to do whatever it is they need to do or get whatever it is that they need to get or whatever it is that they want and is willing potentially to be a team player, is willing to work on it, is willing to do the to take the consistent steps, but something about this situation was overburdensome and probably not equally balanced. Okay? 10 of wands, 6 of pentacles. I'm getting a feeling that someone also may feel like they had gotten stabbed in the back, betrayed even somehow on behalf of this three of cups, this group association. 
And now it feels like Taurus, this person here is bound and determined to just stay on their own. Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Taurus, please. The sun. This person is realizing they are better off alone. Um, there is some sort of heartbreak here. Or, and if it's not heartbreak, then it's at least disappointment. Realizing that this, realizing that whatever, however, some sort of group association or realizing that, you know, whatever long-term goals you may have had with this person or they may have had with you, whatnot, whatever, something about it was deceptive. And that, that there is a level of like, kind of feeling hurt by that a little bit. But I don't really feel like it's a, oh, boo-hoo, look at what you did to me. It's more like a, damn, I really thought that was going to work, or I really hoped that was going to work out, or I thought you, I thought you, per I thought you, or I thought this person could be trusted, or these people could be trusted, something like that. But what they're, but what someone is realizing at this point, Taurus, is that they are, in fact, better off alone. Okay, nine of pentacles in the sun. Con continue clarifying the nine of pentacles for Taurus, please. Ooh, look, now we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So we've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles showing up here. Okay. Um, lack mentality energy is coming up again. Uh, they can't, but this person is realizing they can do for themselves. And they don't have to overachieve. They don't have to keep overgiving to these individuals, maybe even narcissistic individual or individuals that maybe aren't keeping up their end of the bargain. This may have been a situation in which someone is realizing that they're worth more, realizing what they're worthy of, recognizing and or realizing that they can in fact do for themselves. They don't need the help of this community or this organization or this friends group or this community, what, or this person, I don't know, clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please. Anything else for the Nine of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Wow, okay, this is a lot. Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. We're back to the Eight of Swords again. Um, what I was picking up on here is somebody was trying to enter into a situation that is already well established. And they were actively trying to provide to the situation but eventually there was a question or someone realized that there was a question here. For all of the work that I put into this situation or all of the effort that I may be putting in or I may be able to or at least be willing to put into the situation, what would I have to show for it? What would there be to show for it? To show for it. I feel like someone recognized and or realized that they were better off alone because something, some sort of soulmate situation, six of cups, four of pentacles was very well established and was not going to be changed, was not able to be changed under the circumstances, eight of swords. No matter how much work, time, attention, energy, effort they put into this situation, it was always going to remain the same. So they really found out or figured out at some point that, you know what, I am just better off on my own. And thus they walked away. And when they walked away, eight of cups, eight of wands, they walked into a much clearer atmosphere by which they could do for their, themselves. But they could always do for themselves. That's not, that was never the issue. This person could always have done for themselves. But what this person is realizing at this point is that they were better off alone or they are better off alone. Okay, closing message here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not Venus, I'm sorry, just Sun, Moon, Rising. But closing message for Taurus. Habit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, damn. The Queen of Swords and Justice. Yo! Libra energy. 
Queen of Swords, Justice, and then overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the star. So whatever, dis <clears throat> whatever decision you have made, Taurus, or whatever decision this person has made, it's 100% justified. And don't try and argue with them about it. Don't. Because it's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to change their mind. Their mind is made up. Over and done with. Done deal. Goodbye. Over. And they're absolutely in the right for doing this. Decisive. Objective. No bullshit. I don't feel like someone is trying to be mean here, Taurus. But they are being objective. And they're willing to defend themselves about it. But whatever this person, whatever the decision this person has made is justified. And also it's justified, it's bringing justice to their situation because it's helping them achieve that which they dream of. The star. See, but then Taurus underneath the star is the five of swords with the ace of pentacles and then the three of cups again. There is some sort of healing that is happening or has been happened. I'm hearing justice again. In terms of an offer from a, a community or a group of free people, a friends group, a, a communal association, whatnot, whatever, Three of Cups, that was toxic or wasn't all that it was cracked up to be or wasn't all that it was supposed to be or wasn't all that it was portrayed to be. And thus this person, and you are better off alone is what I'm hearing. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, check me out. The Check the information in the description box below uh, where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all set up. Also, all hooked up, excuse me, but also if you'd like to support the channel and potentially get a discount on your readings and or, or get one personal reading with me throughout the month for a discounted price as well as all of the content we have over on Patreon, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description box below. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic month and I'll see you later. Yes, I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>